in Syracuse, New York. One of the things I notice is in session 28, we're not setting the world on fire. And I look at your food blogs, and I read them a lot more than you think I do. And what I find is that people are eating too much. Very elemental, isn't it? It's elementary. It's they're eating too much. People are eating way over 2,000, way over 2,500. And I have included tonight a basic 1,500 calorie plan. And just to give you an idea, men of any age should have, I don't mean children or teenagers, I'm talking about grown men, should have between 2,000 and 3,000 calories a day. If you gain weight easily, you know, go towards or closer to 2,000. Women, on the other hand, this is just to survive. 1600 to 2400. There are spouses in the group where they eat the same thing the whole week and the husband will lose three pounds and the wife will stay the same and lose one pound. Is it fair? No, but it is what it is, okay? So I have given you examples. They're saying six meals, but actually what they are is three healthy meals and two very, very, very small, healthy snacks. And they're suggesting for breakfast multi-grain toast or Ezekiel bread or something of that nature, not white bread. And listen to this, the snack is like an apple and a piece of, you know, cornbread, which I don't know the last time I had cornbread, I don't know. But lunch sounds so healthy, doesn't it? Veggies, a cup, three ounces of grilled chicken, which is like that, and some light dressing, and, and, and it comes to 552 calories. See how fast it adds up? And the evening snack is a cup of watermelon and 10 pistachios. Not 20, not 30, 10. And then it says you gotta move something. And it starts out a little. Do a head tilt, do a shoulder, do this. Just, you know, if you can't do a full squat or a high jump, don't do it. But you gotta start doing something. And once you lose weight, your body can never go back. Once you have a weight issue, you, you don't say, well, Ellen, you said let me go to 1,600 or 2,400 calories and I've lost 30 pounds, so now I wanna go back to 2,400. You can't. It's the way our bodies are made. You have those fat cells, you, once you get down, you have to eat healthy forever. It is what it is. I didn't make these rules up. It's what our body does. My sister has warm water with lime, with warm water with lemon, and, and a lot of people do that to stimulate your, your uh, for water retention, and to stimulate your metabolism. And, and there's fake tuna, more exercises, and anything you do for 30 days or more becomes a habit. I haven't had creamer for years. I haven't had fast food for years. And it, it's just a habit now. It's a habit for us to read the labels. I wouldn't dream of eating anything. Even when I'm at a restaurant, I'm like, how do you make that? Or what do you, no one says, you will leave this restaurant right now. You have no right to ask me these questions. They gladly answer them. Is it cooked in butter, oil? How are you making that? Real nice, you ask. Also, uh, you could have the water with apple cider vinegar also. So this is just pages and pages. Um, and then it says you can have one cheat day. I disagree with this because we're trying to lose weight. If you're trying to maintain, if you've lost the weight, you're happy where you are, and you know that if you go above 1,500, you're gonna gain weight. I gain weight so easily because of my lifetime of dieting. A cheat day, I can easily gain five pounds. And then do I lose five pounds the next day? No. So we have to be careful about a cheat day. You really do. Because a cheat day to some people is, oh, I had a bite of donut, I had a cheat day. To us, it could be 10 Michelob Ultras, a bag of chips, a pizza, wings, blue cheese, you know, we know what a cheat day is. I want to thank Kathy for the crock pot spaghetti squash with meatballs. This is an easy way to make it, and it's 388 calories, and 
and, and it does have a little sodium, so be careful how you make it. If you make it more natural, it won't have as much sodium in it. And I kind of like myself um, making the spaghetti squash separately and then the sauce separately and making turkey meatballs and combining them. My sister, who eats a lot of dairy, and she's careful, but dairy doesn't bother her, she made, she took the spaghetti squash shell, emptied it, put the spaghetti squash back in, put the sauce in, put very thin slices, she sliced the turkey meatballs, then she put cheese all over the top. And I say, and I'm in church, and I mean nothing bad by this, you can put cheese on just about anything, if you know what I mean, and it'll taste good. Cheese makes things taste good. So, she said it tasted like lasagna. So if you can have a little bit of that and not gain weight, I suggest it. I'm gonna stop right there, buddy. And one